Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are finally, 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 finally back for some more of the Pokemon trading card game for Game Boy Color. <laughs> I hope that everyone is doing well today. Um, <laughs> hey there, Secret Boss Sauce. Hespia says, oh, right, this show exists. I know, right? Remember when I used to be a streamer? That was crazy. Hey, Miss Trashbin, welcome. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're, I'm finally back. I'm so sorry for being gone for so many days. I felt so bad and like, I was so frustrated. <laughs> so thank you all for being so patient with me. I really, really, really appreciate it. <laughs> Miss Trashbin says, remember when Lids had Hydro? That was wild. I know, right? I know. <laughs> Uh, SPS says, I mean, you had all that time to write. I mean, that was admittedly one nice little perk of it. Yes, yeah, so I was able to take a little bit of a breather, which was, was admittedly, like, kind of nice. I was able to, you know, just sort of recoup and reformulate and, like, let my brain um, figure itself out. So that there was a benefit to it, definitely. But I felt so bad wait, uh, making all y'all wait. Um, but we're back. We're here. Um, obviously, uh, schedule is looking a little bit wonky this week. But, hey, that's okay. Um, that is perfectly valid. Um, but yeah, so, um, I didn't want to make you all wait since I knew that so many folks were so excited to finish this game. Um, I didn't want to, I didn't want to make you all wait until the next Friday for, uh, for the finisher. So, uh, I figured, hey, why not, uh, why not jump in today, have a little bit of fun, uh, just play some, play some trading card game, um, and then, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll pick up with the Forever Lock again, uh, tomorrow. I think that sounds perfectly, perfectly reasonable. Um, so, uh, I actually played a little bit this morning. I got up, like, crazy early, like, for no reason. <laughs> but, like, like, a comfortable early, if you know what I mean? Like, where it was, like, it wasn't so early that I was, like, you know, dead tired, like, walk walking around or anything like that. But, like, I got up, I, you know, I got my, got my caffeine intake and, uh, you know, had a little bit of breakfast and just, I was just like, oh, yeah, I'm just, like, kind of vibing today. So, that's pretty good. Um, but, yeah, so I played a little bit this morning and I grinded out some cards, um, notably, um... So I have uh, I have changed up the deck ever so slightly. We're still running the basic, you know, the same basic idea. We're doing the Blastoise deck, but I was able to get more Squirtles, which is fantastic. So now I have the full the full play set of Squirtle. Uh, we're running the double Blastoise. I was I was gonna ask if you all thought I should keep the War Turtle or not. Um, I did get another Breeder, but I only have two, so I've I've got one War, war Turtle left in the deck still at present. Just because I thought it was a good idea. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I got the War Turtle. Uh, for the most part, the rest is, is more or less the same. I think I took out... What did I take out? I think I took out one of the Dugongs. I think I was running three. Um, now I'm only running two. Um, got the full play set of Star Yus, of course, for the for the lovely Start You plays. Those are my favorite. Those are my favorite. And then um, the other cool thing is I, I got a full play set of Bill now. <laughs> so, Bill is good. Bill is very good. Miss Trashman says, yeah, the usual build is four Squirtle, one War Turtle, four Blastoise. Wow, so that people actually run the four the the full play set of Blastoise, huh? That's crazy. Uh, I, I guess I could I could see like if the is uh I imagine Miss Trashbin, you'll have to let me know. Um do they do they run like basically like exclusively the Squirtle line in the deck, or do they actually run any other support? I was gonna say, like, I don't know if I have like the um <laughs> I don't know if I like feel comfortable running just the Squirtle line. I guess I could, theoretically, but um I don't know. I also like really like a lot of my other cards, like Krabby and uh, and Staryu. So <laughs> I don't know. You have to let me know about that. Uh, I think the deck is doing okay. I did a couple. Of, obviously, I did some like test battles while I was grinding out packs for because I, I wanted to get the bills. I absolutely wanted the bills. Um, so we got the bills. We got an extra Pokemon Breeder, which was awesome. Um, you know, I, I I changed around like the switches and Pokeballs, and uh, I I don't I don't. I, I had Defender. I took that out. I, I took out a Gust of Wind. Uh, mostly just, you know, kind of changed up my support a little bit. I took out a Double Colorless Energy as well, since I was only really running that for, like, one Pokemon. So, um, yeah, I, I think it turned out really good. Um, the deck seemed to be running relatively well, so uh, I am happy with it. Uh, Miss Trashman says it's like the Squirtle line in Lapras, maybe Gyarados too. Basically Pokemon who benefit from pumping water energies. That makes sense. That definitely makes sense, Miss Trashman. Uh, I suppose I could theoretically try and rework the deck to focus on that very heavily, but, um, <laughs> I, I mean, I like the, yeah, no, it works out with the pun there. That's great, Miss Trashman. 
Um, but yeah, I wanted to, I, I think I want to stick with, cause I like, I re honestly, I really like Staryu. I, it's just, it's just a good start. Like it hits hard early for cheap. So it's just like, I don't know. I like Staryu. Um, Krabby have done me well. Seal and Dugong have done me really well. So I'm going to stick with them. I think I'm going to stick with them. Hey there, Starchamp. Welcome, welcome. Uh, lovely to see you. I was just telling everybody, uh, Starchamp, since I know that you, you, uh, <laughs> care about this game quite a bit as well. Um, I got more, I got more bills and I got more squirtles. Which is great. And I got one more Pokemon reader, so I have two now. So, uh, to, to, to sort of sum up what I was just uh, finishing up on, that's what's going on. I did the things, and now we can go do the thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're off to. I just said, is the Pokemon Dome or Challenge Hall? I actually, is it Pokemon Dome? Maybe it's the Dome. I don't know. I don't know. Um, those in search of the legendary Pokemon cards. Defeat the masters of the eight clubs that attain the eight medals. Once attained, de uh, defeat the Grand Master here at the Dome. Then you shall inherit the legendary Pokemon card. Yay! Okay, cool. Yeah, this is the right place then. Um, then we shall go ahead and just slide those metals into the door. Uh, SBS says, Ugh, adulting sucks. Whenever I hear bills, I think of money being lost. Oh, no, not those bills. I meant, like, the dude. <laughs> uh, Sergeant says, nice. Consistency, good. Yes, consistency is very good. I am quite pleased. Only those who have, won, who have won all eight Master Medals may enter the Grand Hall. You have won all eight Master Medals. Enter the Grand Hall. <laughs> they could have, uh, they could have stood to maybe mix up the dialogue there a little bit. <laughs> That's funny. Ooh, it's Rod. Possessor of all eight Master Medals, enter the dueling stage. However, you will be unable to turn back. Enter the dueling stage. Ooh, very exciting. Very exciting. Let's do it. In that case, enter the dueling stage. Ooh, there they are, the Grand Masters. Very good. <laughs> Welcome to the Pokemon Dome. I am Rod, leader of the Grand Masters, and this is Grand Master Courtney, the Fire Queen. Grand Master of Lightning, Thunder Steve. Yo, Thunder Steve, I love this man. <laughs> Grand Master of Ice, Gentlemanly Jack. We are the four Grand Masters who guard the legendary Pokemon cards. If you can defeat all of us, then you will have earned the right to inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. Lids, take your place at the table. Ooh, very excited. Yeah, Thunder Steve. <laughs> That's just what his friends call him, though. <laughs> uh, I love that. Your first opponent shall be Courtney. All right. Mm hmm. I, Courtney the Fire Queen, shall be your first opponent. We shall see if you can take the heat. A six prize match. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's go to it. All right, let's go, girl. <laughs> I, I was gonna say, these these folks are no pushovers, so we're gonna see see how well this actually winds up going for us. How funny would it be if I like absolutely just destroyed them like super quickly? <laughs> we had like the shortest like stream in the entire um, trading card game experience. That'd be actually really funny. Uh, ooh, we get we lead. I don't like leading with Squirtle. I honestly like prefer to lead with the Staryu. Um, uh, I guess I could just put Lapras out. Um, cause I, I yeah, I'd rather build up the Squirtle on back row. Then, well, then again, I don't remember how their cards work. It's been so long since I since I fought the Grand Masters. Um, so I don't know if um, I don't know if they have any attacks that like hit the back row, which could be bad. I would I would not like that. <laughs> Uh, SP says, so is the power going out again? I'm hoping not at all. I'm hoping not at all. That is best case scenario for me. Maybe I put Lapras out, but I keep Squirtle in hand until I'm ready. I like to set Squirtle up, like, over over time, but if I can get Squirtle and Wartortle, or a Breeder, I guess. Uh, well, no, I have Breeder here. I just need... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Oh, I just noticed I have the full setup. <laughs> I need more energy, though. Um... Yeah, I literally just noticed. Yeah, I have Blastoise, Breeder, and Squirtle in hand on turn one. That's really good. Um, so, yeah, I just need energy in that case. Um, I'm going to put Lapras out for for the for the start. Yeah, the full combo. Yeah, no, I just noticed that. I just noticed that. Sarcha says, uh, oh, so I'm in awe of some of Sword and Shield's design decisions, starting with Raihan. Ooh, what's, uh, what's, what are you in so, such, what are you in awe of, Star Champ? You'll have to let us know. Um, okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll... I'll keep Squirtle in hand for now. Because I want more energy first. I think that sounds reasonable. Let's see what you, well, let's see what she actually leads with as well. 
Uh, SB says, so last year I lost power for a week during an ice storm, so I know your pain. Winter without heat suck. Oh, yeah, I bet. I bet. <laughs> Thankfully, like, the power, although it was, like, super spotty, it would, it would, like, it would only be off long enough to, like, be just kind of annoying. Uh, as far as, like, my AC and all that stuff, like, luckily my house stays relatively, like, my house is really good with, like, with insulation and stuff like that, so, um... Fortunately, like, my house didn't, like, heat up in the summer sun or anything like that. It just, like, you know, it was just off for a little while, and then it got fixed. So, um, yeah, it was, like, so, look, I got lucky in that regard. Like, my house did not, like, get all, like, disgusting and hot. <laughs> so, that's good. Oh, there's the funny Moltres. Yeah, the fire giver one. Moltres has poke power. Whenever you put Moltres into play during your turn, not during setup, put one to four chosen at random fire energy cards from your deck into your hand in the shuffle. That's stupidly good. <laughs> that is a stupidly good card. Yeah, the fire giver. She just, she just, she just like, has fixed energy, basically. Just has completely fixed energy. <laughs> yeah, Raihan's, like, hardly a dragon gym. Totally, Sarchamp. It's more of a weather gym than anything else. All right, so I would very much like to get that um, Moltres out of here, like ASAP. Are she running both Moltreses? Oh wow, she is. Yeah, she's the other. She has like the actual Moltres as well. Crazy. Um. Okay. Let's see. We get the bill. Bill's good. Energy. Show me energy. Get okay, an energy. Okay. Um. I want more, though. <laughs> I want more energy. Uh, discard any number of fire energy cards attached to Moltres when this card is active. If you do discard that many cards from the top of your opponent's... Oh, it's a mill card! Gross! Um, that's disgusting. Mr. Ashman says, I do love how the GB exclusive cards take advantage of being able to do random things. It is really cool, yeah. I remember this this Moltres with Dive Bomb or whatever, like, freaking is really mean. <laughs> Um, yeah, let me see. Uh, it's... Wait, wait. Dive bomb. Okay, flip a coin. If Tails' attack does nothing, but it does 70 damage! Ah! <laughs> That's way too much. And uh, don't they, have, like, not have weaknesses? Yeah, it has no weakness, which is absolute garbage. Absolute garbage. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, no Elite Four is also super big lame, Star Champ. I agree. I agree. No Elite Four is big lame. I hope that's not a trend going forward. Like, I really, really hope Scarlet and Violet have an Elite Four. So far, that has not been confirmed. Um, but yeah. Uh, let's see here. Let me. At the very least, I can throw this. But what would I go for for the, this Pokeball? I already have like the full setup, so I don't really need a whole lot. Is the thing. Uh, I have two Squirtles. I guess I could, like, start setting up a second Squirtle. Since I'm, now I'm running more than one Blastoise, so I could try and, like, prep for that. Nope. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> it was a fun idea, at least. Um, okay. So... I mean, I could start just put energy on Lapras, but I'd rather... Hmm. I'll set up the Squirtle. I'll set up the Squirtle. She doesn't have anything to hit my back row. Right? Hold on, let me read the other effect on that Moltres. Oh wow, and this one just hits for 80. That's ridiculous. <laughs> at least the other one's, uh, at least the other one's dive bomb isn't as strong, but still. Gush, gush gosh. <laughs> SP says, I hope that they have an innovation on the Elite Four. It, it, I, I just hope that that innovation is that there is one. <laughs> like, that's all I'm asking for. That's all I'm asking for, SPS. Starship says, uh, I do hope it's a trend. I didn't really like, uh, it didn't really make sense for the America region to have a group like that. Four isn't really a significant number there. I mean, I don't, I don't think, I mean, I don't think it's an insignificant number. It's just, it's just a final little challenge, I, I feel. I think it's fine. I, 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 I love the Elite Four. I love seeing new characters. I don't like the recycling of pre-existing characters, which is actually why Sun and Moon's Elite Four is egregious to me. Uh, I like all new characters. <laughs> I like all new characters. More characters is always better. So that's how I feel about it. Um, okay, so yeah, we'll set up Squirtle, and yeah, I guess we'll just sit. Um, maybe we'll draw an energy. We'll see what happens. Energy removal! You are a mean lady. 
He goes for a flare. I don't think we resist fire or anything. Yeah, we just take the 20. That makes sense. That makes sense. That was not very nice, Courtney. Well, let's try again. Don't energy removal that one. <laughs> Go ahead and Pokemon Breeder up. Go ahead and drop another energy. And... You know what? I'm going to energy removal you. How about that? SP says, I mean, I give Sun and Moon this dodge. They at least have the excuse of making their Pokemon League. No, it's like, lore-wise, it makes sense, SPS, I agree. But, like, I don't know. I just don't like the principle of it. <laughs> so, that's how, I, that's how I'm feeling. Uh, Mr. Spence says, even the idea of a final champion battle was supposed to be a plot twist, if I remember correctly. The final battle against Blue is a surprise because he uh, he beat the Elite Four before you. No, a lot of people forget about that, Miss Trashpin. I always I always feel like it's imperative to bring up the fact that like the tradition like the tradition isn't that there is an Elite Four and a champion. There's only supposed to be an Elite Four. The champ whenever you fight a champion at the end of the Elite Four, what you're actually doing is challenging them for the title because they already beat the Elite Four before you. That's the case in every game, regardless of which region you're in. It like there's not just a Garrett like there's not a required champion. If no one has become champion yet, then the champion is like then there just isn't one. There's the Elite Four, and then the first person to beat the Elite Four becomes the champion. <laughs> so in Sun and Moon, yeah, like you you when you beat the Elite Four for the first time, you're the first person ever to to do so, you are the champion. You become the first champion of Alola. And then the quote unquote champion fight that you do is actually just the the second person to be the Elite Four who is challenging you for your title. You are effectively blue in that situation. And yeah, li likewise, um, in in um, Kanto, Blue, the champion in the Gen 1 games and, and the Fire and Leaf Green remakes, um, he is, uh, he, presumably, he's the first person to beat the Elite Four. He's like the first champion of Kanto, which is actually kind of fascinating. <laughs> so yeah, no, it's a, it's a wild way that that works. A wild, wild way. Uh, also, I did not draw into energy, and that feels bad. <laughs> oh, hey, Dapper Kirby, welcome. I was gonna say I always took it Dapper Kirby um to, to sort of respond to what you're, you're what you're saying there though um I was say it's I don't I still don't see it as a title even in um even in Johto that's the thing is like I, I just get the vibe that like Lance dropped out of the Elite Four presumably was replaced by Karen or whoever else and then challenged the challenged the league himself and became champion that way I think it's perfectly reasonable chain of events based on how we understand it to work in uh, in universe. So, that's the way that I look at it. <laughs> hey, there's water energy. Very nice. Blast Toys is online. Not fully set up, but definitely online. Thanks for chumping the chumping the hit there, Lapras. I appreciate you. <laughs> SPS says the Sun and Moon final battle is a title offense. That is correct, SPS. You are correct. Very, very nice. Oh, hey, Maxi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lovely to see you. Uh, Sergeant says, think of it like this. In Beyblade Burst, Japan has a Supreme Four and the top four bladers, but worldwide has the big five. Uh, interesting. I, I mean, I don't know anything about Beyblade, so... Um, I could not have told you that, but it is fascinating. Well, sorry, Lapras. I was say, did you really just burn a fire energy for that, though, or on the Arcanine? Hey, Blastoise, come on out. I'm just curious, like, did she did she actually burn fire energy for that? Or maybe she put one on first. I wasn't paying attention. Hold on. Oh no, no, you just burned it. Okay, cool. Yeah, but it, it burned immediately. That's good. Um, okay, so I was gonna say I need to put some basics down because uh we're our field's a little empty. I'll go ahead and put both the star U's down. Good damage. Ooh, can't do anything, though. Very nice, very nice. Even bigger damage for Blastoise. Good, good.
Ba-boom. And we take another water energy. That's the last one we need to, to do max damage with Blastoise. That's perfect. Very, very good. Ooh, can we just straight up smack this Moltres? What is she doing? I don't even know what she's doing right now. Um, yeah, let me drop that down. I can also set up a Staryu on back row just for funsies. You're lucky you don't have weakness. <laughs> I would have just smacked the shit out of your Moltres. <laughs> she plays another Moltres. Energy retrieval. Okay, she's going for the energy. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Well, she can't do anything. She actually can't do anything. I'm going to smack the shit out of her Moltres right here. I I'm going to break her fixed energy. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> this Lost Toys is so OP. <laughs> ba boom. Yeah, fi I don't like fire decks either, Miss Trashbin. Yeah, they, they, they just, the cost, the, the cost on them, it just seems like it's way too much. It just seems like it's way, way too much for, like, like, like yeah, they do, like, big damage, but, like, it's just not efficient enough. <laughs> it's not nearly efficient enough. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll put, I could put a second Squirtle down, set up a second Blastoise, I suppose. Oh, Freeze Yee is here with the water redemption. Thank you so much for the water, but also it's lovely to see you. It's been a hot minute since I've seen you in chat. I hope you're doing well. Uh, SBS says, uh, so the company that hired me uh, sent, sent over the hiring paperwork. So now I have to wait uh, for the onboarding process date and start date. I was going to say, oh, you got to love you gotta love all the red tape that comes with the new getting a new job here in, uh, in the States. But um yeah, that's, uh, I mean, at least it's, like, in progress, right, SPS? <laughs> Ooh, Freeze, Freeze is doing great. Uh, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. We are, uh, playing what we believe, what I believe to be the finale of the, of the trading card game for our spinoff Friday. Uh, very fun stuff. I've been looking forward to it. Um, so, yeah. Very, very good stuff. Uh, yeah, I think I will go ahead and start setting up the second Squirtle as well, just in case. Um, now that I have the multiple Blastoise in the deck. Okay. Or do you have weakness? You do not have weakness. Okay. Mm, I don't like I don't like fire types that don't have weaknesses. That's really lame. <laughs> uh, SB says, oh, by the way, some free advice for everyone in chat. Don't play Mega Man X6. Wait, really? Why? <laughs> What's wrong with X6? I've never played any of the X. The, uh, I, I've done, the, literally the only Mega Man games in general, like across any of the sub-series that I've actually played is... Um, I've played Mega Man 1. <laughs> the first Mega Man. That's literally the extent of my Mega Man experience. Alright. Finish off this Moltres. Man, we're actually, like, destroying her right now. I Like, does she have a plan or what? <laughs> I thought she'd be a lot, way harder because she kicked my butt when I fought her in, uh, in my own private run. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting good luck. <laughs> Free says, sorry, I've been busy. Hey, no worries. Like, I, I totally get it. People got lives. I totally understand. No worries at all. I just appreciate you stopping by. It's very nice of you. It was very, very nice of you. Ooh, we get the nine tails. That's like GB nine tails. I don't even know what that does. She can't really like her entire deck is built around the GB Moltres, which I just killed. So like, I don't even know how she's gonna set up. She's got Magmar online for Fire Punch. Um, she's got Nine Tails online as well. Hmm, interesting. SP says X Six is rushed together a mess of a game that wasn't supposed to exist. Mary did a playthrough of the game, and I saw some new shit I never knew could happen uh, from my playthrough. Wow, interesting. <laughs> interesting. Uh, I wasn't. I saw. Um, I was at a. I went to a retro gaming store yesterday. Actually, I picked up a couple of couple of fun fun games that I've been wanting to try. But uh, one of the games I almost got, but I didn't wind up getting, was um, I went to, or, or I, I saw Mega Man X7, uh, but it was at a really good price. I, I was surprised that it was as low as it was. Um, is 7 good? Should I have bought it? I didn't, but I thought about it. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, let me just start set, keep setting up on that one. 
Uh, SP says don't play X7. What's oh my god, SPS, what's wrong? Why are the are the later are the later um are the later uh, Mega Man X games bad or something? I've never heard anything bad about them, so that's weird. <laughs> I, I like I feel like I know a lot of things about about video games, so like I'm just surprised if that's if that's the case. Oh hey Kevo, welcome, welcome, lovely to see you, lovely to see you. I hope you are doing well. Yes, I'm running a water deck. I am running the Blastoise, the funny Blastoise deck. Dapper Kirby says, I'm, I'm just not an X-Series fan in general. I feel like the game throws too many enemies in, in hallways, making it tedious to traverse levels. Fair enough, Dapper Kirby. Yeah, I mean, I just I don't have a whole lot of experience with Mega Man in general, so. Uh, Mr. Ashman says, I, want, uh, uh, or I went to a retro game store with my now GF for our first time hanging out. That's where I picked up uh, the Live Alive remake. Oh, that's so wholesome. <laughs> I love that, Mr. Ashman. I love that so much. Uh, Sarge says, I feel like X7 is considered meh. Well, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> I guess it's uh, not necessarily a good thing that I didn't get it, but rather, like, I guess it's not a huge loss. <laughs> so, that uh, that works out. Mr. Ashman says, we both nerded out uh, over all the old consoles that they had on display. Oh, that's so fun. <laughs> we love that. We love that, Mr. Ashman. Okay, let's, um, I was, does she really not have anything she could do? She's, like, getting smacked so hard. I feel bad. I feel bad. <laughs> well, bye-bye, Magmar. So we, uh, can she do something with this Ninetales, I wonder? Can she do anything to combat my Blastoise? <laughs> Flip eight, eight coins. This attack does ten times the number of heads. So she could theoretically do 80 damage. Theoretically. Okay. 70. Okay. 60. That's a lot of coins. Holy cow. 40 so far. 40 total damage. 50 damage. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Does this have does this have weaknesses to um does this have weaknesses to to water? I wonder. Uh, it does. Okay, yeah. So it's dead. <laughs> I think we just beat we beat the first grandmaster. Holy cow! I guess it helps that we had the advantage type wise, but still, <laughs> that went a little too smoothly. <laughs> if I'm being real with you all. <laughs> SP says X7 is one of those games that they tried to transition from 2D to 3D and it was a mess. Oh, I see. I see. That makes sense then. That makes sense. Oh, sorry. Let me get my stream manager up real quick. I forgot. There we go. Now it's up. And yeah, there is the final prize. We absolutely thrashed Courtney. Holy cow. Granted, we have to be all four of them in a row. It's basically the Elite Four. So, you know, we're not... Um, you know, we're not necessarily just going to completely sweep them, like, you know, it's not guaranteed, but, like, it'd be cool. It'd be cool. Ooh, Dapper Kirby's got me on the Water Redemption. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ah, delicious hydration. SBS says, uh, X8 was solid, though. Uh, too bad it's, uh, paid for seven, it paid for seven's sins. Ooh, unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> I lose. But that's no surprise, seeing as how you've come this far. Your next opponent is waiting for you. Hey, and we get a tiger in the chat. Wonderful. How's it going, tiger? Very good, Lids. Your second opponent is... Yo, know, it's not just Steve, Rod. This is Thunder Steve. I, Thunder Steve, am your next opponent. Hey, do you want the legendary Pokemon cards? Then you must defeat me first. Is, is your deck ready, Lids? Prepare for the duel. Uh, oh, basically they're asking if I wanna if I wanna switch up my my playstyle. Admittedly, the electric guy is kind of the like more of a problem because uh, my a lot of my cards have weaknesses to to lightning. But I'm gonna try it anyway. The thing that sucks is if we actually do job to Steve, then we have to fight Courtney again too, <laughs> which is big lame. Um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna try for it. Prepare for the duel. No. All right then, let's begin the duel. Six prizes. Ready, set, go. Hey, there he is. Legendary Zapdos deck. Thunder Steve. Look at this man. <laughs> Look at this man. This this guy this guy knows what what's up. 
All right, let's see here. Um, active Pokemon. So we got Staryu. We got none of the Squirtle line, which is big lame. Um, but we can set up with Staryu at least and drop Kangaskhan down on the bench. Okay, and then, yeah. All right, that'll work. Play second. What are you? What do you have on the field to lead with? Electabuzz. Okay, unfortunate. That takes setup. No, it actually gets Thundershock immediately for one. Oh, that's that's big lame. <laughs> Not a fan of that. Didn't get paralyzed, but that's still too much damage to lead with. Twenty damage from the weakness. Gah. Off to a bad start. <laughs> Off to a really rough start here. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's immediately bill. Squirtle, that's great. Let me see. What do you have? You have Eevee. Okay. Um, let's see here. Oh, if I could Pokeball for Blastoise and then Computer Search for the Breeder. Oh, that'd be pretty good, huh? That would be pretty good. <laughs> SBS is so lit. Uh, how did how did my uh, how did you like my latest culinary achievement? I thought that was really silly, SBS. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Asmus says Electabuzz is a beast here. I think it, it, uh, I think some Haymaker decks run it. Yeah, no, it seems really good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at it. Yeah, Thundershock for one. That's really good. Uh, and then Thunder Punch. Uh, yeah, oh, man. They, yeah, that Thundershock with the free paralysis for just one electric energy seems like a little much. Uh, flip a coin of heads. This attack does 30 damage plus 10 more. The second attack's not very good, but that's okay. Uh, it really does make up for it with that like, incredibly good Thundershock. Um, okay, so there's no re real reason for me to set up on Staryu. Um, I need to put, I'm going to put Seal down. I'm also going to put Squirtle down. And I'm going to Pokeball, hopefully for Blastoise. Nice. Yeah, there's, uh, there's no reason to not set up for Blastoise, like, basically right away. Okay, and then, yeah, we can computer search out the breeder. Um, yeah, that's probably the way to do it. I'm going to enter removal uh, Electabuzz as well. Might as well, might as well uh, gimp him where I can. I'll toss, um... Oh, man, I guess I have to toss the energy, huh? I shouldn't, actually, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't, I should have just tossed both of the, uh... I should have, I should have tossed both of the, the stinking energy removals. Oh, well. Um, oh, the no reason not to. I love that SPS. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, you get all the emotes now that you're, uh, that you're subbed, huh? That's, that's exciting. It's cool to see them from you. <laughs> Thanks for the sub. Enjoy the emotes. <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess I have to toss the water energy. Yeah, we'll grab, we'll grab Breeder. And, uh, yeah, we can wait on that for now. Um, I can't slap or anything. Done in the hand, so, yeah, we'll just call it there. Ooh, there's the Zapdos. Okay. Peel of Thunder. When, you're, uh, when you put Zapdos into play during your turn, do 30 damage to a Pokemon other than Zapdos chosen at random. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I, I was going to say, I vaguely recalled that there was one of, like, one of these uh, uh, Grand Masters had something that, like, hit the board. Or like that hit the the back row, uh, th and this is this is what it was. <laughs> Feel of thunder. Oh, he hit his own Eevee. Nice. Okay, that I mean that works out in our favor. <laughs> that he heals his own Eevee. Oh my goodness, that's really funny. Yeah, there's a thunder shock. That'll that'll finish me off regardless of paralysis. All right, down it goes. Okay, so yeah, we got Kangaskhan to stall. That's good. Okay. Um, let's say, do I want to? Hmm. Do I want to put this energy onto Squirtle to start setting up for Blastoise, or do I want to put it on Kangaskhan so I can maybe fetch some energy? That's probably the better play, huh? 
Let me breeder Blastoise down. Just because I don't want Squirtle to get hit for like a ton of damage on the back row. And just die. <laughs> that would be lame. Okay, and then yeah, we'll just we'll put the water energy on Kangaskhan. It'd be really nice if we top decked water energy immediately. That would be handy. Okay, Kingler. Big lame, but that's okay. Okay, there's Thundershock. Don't paralyze me. Dang it. <laughs> I can't draw cards when you do that. <laughs> okay, we can still stall him out. Okay, we got water energy. That's good. That's good. Okay, that goes on to Blastoise. Alright, let's see what she got next. It's a good thing it is a six prize match because, like, I feel... Can you imagine if these were, like, lower prize, prize pools and they just, like, got, like, really good early setups like this? Like, you'd get destroyed. Paralyze me. Dang it! I like to fetch things. Grr. Okay, water energy. I'm glad that I get the water energy. Give me more. More energy. <laughs> SPS says stop saying it. Yeah, you're right. It's probably my fault. It's probably my fault, SPS. <laughs> Ugh, God, he's setting up on back row. I hate that. I hate it. I swear to God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, we gotta love the RNG. The RNG feels super good. A gust of wind. Ooh, I could gust of wind. Hold on. What do you have out here? What do you have out here? You have no energy committed to, to Zapdos. What's your retreat? It retreats too. Big Thunder is all it has. Um. Big Thunder. Choose a Pokemon other than Zapdos at random. This attack does damage to that Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance for this attack. Okay, interesting. Uh, I almost still kind of want to gust of wind out to that just because he can't retreat. Um. I was say, yeah, you're set up for Sonic Boom. No, no weakness from that. That's good. Um, hmm. If we go to Eevee. All it can do is tail. I don't want to tail wag. Will be annoying though. Yeah, I think I will actually gust of wind out the Zapdos. Okay, so now you can't paralyze me, and you can't retreat either. So unless he's, like, running Switch or something, we should be we should be able to actually get a fetch off this next turn. Mr. Rasmus says, GB Zapdos is so strong, especially if you play Greedy and have no bench. Yeah, I, I, could, I could totally see that. I could totally see that. Okay, Blastoise is online. Good. Um, I can't retreat with Kangaskhan, though, so we're just going to have to wait. I either need one of my switches or or enough energy to get Kangaskhan switched out. But then again, I'd, al I'd almost rather set it up on the uh, on the Blastoise while we can. Our car our deck pool is a little lower than his though, so we got to figure something out eventually. <laughs> I can't just completely stall out with Kangaskhan. Uh, maybe I should start investing some energy onto Kangaskhan so I can. What's the retreat? It's like four, isn't it? Three. Okay, three is better. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll start setting up on Kangaskhan. Wait, wait, wait. I have Blastoise out. Oh, wait, no, I can only attach it to water Pokemon. That's right. Uh, never mind. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait. Fetch. Okay. Lapras. Starmie. Unfortunate, but... That gets me three energy. That's good. Let's 
so I can at least hit it for, for 40. SBS says, so while it won't, uh, while it won't top the ob lobstickin, <laughs> which, God, I love that name, I do plan to make some cookies and chicken and dumplings today. Oh, God, chicken, I love chicken and dumplings, SBS, they're amazing. They're absolutely amazing. Oh, where's my energy at? Oh, feels bad. <laughs> okay, one more hit. <laughs> Okay, he didn't get energy. Whew! Got lucky. I <laughs> got lucky that he did not draw into energy. We get Bill. Show me the good stuff. For, ooh, Professor Oak is huge. Professor Oak is absolutely huge. Um. Oh, dang. I gotta throw Starmie away. I guess that's probably worth it, though. I guess that's probably worth it, though. I, I, I want to throw this away. I want energy. I definitely want energy. Um... I could keep some of it. What do I have in play? Do I have? I don't have a star you down right now. Uh, I I, I will put the star you down just because I like star you. Um, but everything else can go away. Okay, star you is on the bench, Professor Oak. Show me energy. Oh god, I gotta I gotta kill quick. I'm running out of cards. <laughs> really burning through this deck with that uh that Kangaskhan. Really? I only got one? Okay, I got a bill. Energy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, yeah, now we good. Now we totally good. I would have loved another gust of wind, but I didn't get it, so it's okay. Okay, Blastoise at max output. No evolution cards. I got the other blast toys. Um, also set up Star You. All right, finish the Zapdos. I, it's gonna suck because we're gonna take a lot of damage from the uh, next, like the electric Pokemon. Well, no, I guess Electrode wouldn't because it um, it doesn't deal damage with Sonic Boom. That is that does super effective. That's good. We might be okay here. Hold on, hold on. Okay, there's the Electabuzz. There's Jolteon. Yeah, Sonic Boom. It does not apply weaknesses or resistances. Yeah, just 30, 30 flat damage. I can work with that. Um, not have a really. I can put Squirtle down. I need another breeder. <laughs> Yeah, we can get set up there. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, just go for the, the 60 Hydro Pump. Not enough to kill, but damage on the Electrode for sure. Whew! <laughs> God, this, 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 this one's making me sweat a little bit, folks. <laughs> the plus power! Rude! Man, I was really hoping. I need to tie. I need another Blastoise to set up. Dang it! <laughs> Cause I was say that Jolteon's gonna come out and smack me up. Um, unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just finish off the Electrode, I guess. I need Breeder or War Turtle. Either one. Or Electabuzz, yeah, could also come out. That'll work, too. Goes for a bill. Plays the other Zapdos. Okay. Don't paralyze me. Don't do it. Damn it. Ah! <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's an L for this Blastoise, unfortunately. If I hadn't gotten paralyzed, I could have at least done major damage to Electabuzz first. Oh, well. Ooh, we get a switch, though? <gasps> Ooh, that's huge. That, that's actually huge. Uh, what do I switch to, though? Well, you know what I could do? I can drop uh, Double Colorless down onto Kangaskhan and stall some more. Yeah, that's actually good. That's actually good. 
while I stall out for that that that, that other Blastoise. No, I don't. I don't run any heals on the deck, Star Champ. I probably I like I theoretically could have, but no. At, at present, I'm not running any healing. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll switch out to yeah, switch out to Kangaskhan. At least at least he doesn't get a prize out of it, and I can fetch. We get a bill, okay. I mean, bill's good, but I really need, yeah, either the other breeder or a uh, war turtle. Okay, does not get the paralysis this time. That's good. Oh, also, we're really low on energy too, huh? Am I not, I, will I even be able to set up another Blastoise? I guess, well, I guess we'll at least have it online. That's good. Come on, war turtle or breeder, either one, please. Dang it. <laughs> Lame. Yeah, I have the energy. We're we're good on energy. I just need I just need that second blast twice ready to go. <laughs> That's all I need. We are running painfully low on cards though. I do not want to deck myself out. Squirtle! I don't want Squirtle. I want Ward. It must be. It's got. Oh, is it in my prize? I didn't even think about that. They might be in my prize pool. Grr. We are low on cards, so like, there's a very real chance that that's the case. Okay. Ooh, well, here's my chance. If I can land the Pokeball, I could find out for sure. Let's find out. Come on, please. Damn it. Ah, <laughs> this is not good. As uh, as I thought so, that explains the roughness you were experiencing early game. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was getting, getting smacked pretty good. Uh, I can't attack because of paralysis. Lame. All right. I actually probably don't want to fetch anymore anyways because I'm running way too low on cards. This might be an L though. <laughs> Unless I can, unless I can somehow, hmm, no, I'm trying to figure this out. I don't think I can actually do anything about this. At this point, I'd need an energy. Oh, this is lame. <laughs> this is so lame. I need to retreat Kangaskhan or have it go down. Okay, finally puts another energy on Electabuzz to go for Thunder Punch. Ooh, and it does 10 damage to itself. I mean, hey, we get a benefit out of that. The Kangaskhan finally goes down. Okay, that's good, actually. Takes 10 damage. And actually, that means that the second Blastoise could come out, or, or, my, or rather my original Blastoise, uh, can come out and actually kill that. Kill the Electabuzz. It'll go down immediately afterwards, but that's probably worth it. Um, yeah. I only have the one. Maybe I should play that play that out now. Mr. Asher says Blastoise can come out. I'm so happy for them. I know, right? <laughs> oh, that's wholesome. Okay, knock this out. Go, Blastoise! Alright, come on. Give me War Turtle or Breeder. That's a water energy. Wah, wah. I was hoping to just be able to make a clean switch into the next Blastoise, but unfortunately not. And yeah, the Thundershock will knock out Blastoise. That's the biggest lame. Okay, um, Star, you can come out and do a little bit of damage, I guess. So yeah, I need to wait until... I need to wait on Squirtle until it's ready. <laughs> it's not ready yet. Breeder! There we go! 
there we go. <laughs> That's what I needed. Okay, very good. So yeah, now we breed her. Another Blastoise. <laughs> Tiger says, y'all ever been uh, been sick where it makes you, you your sinuses flare up? Yes, it's terrible. It's the worst. I, I'm sorry if you're experiencing that. That's That'd be super lame. Uh, okay, you're at you're at max output already, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you definitely are. Um, I guess I can drop the water energy onto yeah. I guess onto seal would be the optimal play here. Um, okay, cool. And then yeah, just go for go for damage on Electabuzz. Star, you will go down, but at least Blastoise can come out and kill the Electabuzz. So good job, Star, you. I oh, mean, it's really coming down to the wire on this one. <laughs> Another water energy. I was really hoping for a gust of wind so that I could gust of wind out Jolteon and kill it, but I did not get it. So, nope. What else do you actually have on the board here? You have the other Zapdos, that's right. Ugh, god. Good thing you don't have any energy committed to that. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, just go for Hydro Pump, kill it. Kill it! Okay, Jolteon comes out. Bill. Plays another Eevee. So yeah, Jolteon does love another turn now because of that potion. Hmm. Ah, oh, they got the extra 20. Oh, that's rough. Ah, oh, that's too much damage. Oh, that's way too much damage. Oh, that potion really screws me over, huh? Oh, Gust of Wind. Um, Gust of Wind. Gust of Wind. He's got two prizes. I've got two prizes. Can I could Gust of Wind out something and kill it. I could I could kill the other Eevee or the Voltorb. But I cannot kill... I can only deal 60 damage with Blastoise. And you have 70 HP. Grr! Oh, man, that really... Oh, that would have been a win right there. Base. Well, not, not bait, like... It would have been an immediate win, but it would have been really close to a win. <laughs> I would have been in a comfy spot. I'm in a less comfy spot now. Uh, but you know what I can do? I can put this water energy down onto Seal. And Dugong. And then we have a backup once uh, the next thing goes down. Yeah, let me... I am going to Gust of Wind. I'm gonna gust of wind out, um, Eevee. And immediately kill it. We'll take a prize. Okay. And then yeah, Jolteon's gonna come out. If it does actually kill- I think it might be able to just kill me, like, normally. But if it do, if if it does, at least I have the I have the dugong to go into. Erg. <laughs> Dang. Oh man, this is a little too close for comfort. <laughs> this is a little too close for comfort. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm very nervous. Hold on. How much damage can this thing actually do? It's 10 plus 20 for 60 total with quick attack. It could also pin missile, which I think is completely random, right? Flip four coins, this attack does 20 times the, the number of heads. Oh, it, it may actually just come down to RNG. Wow, that's brutal. <laughs> that's brutal. Because, yeah, it's set, up, it's set up for that. 
If I can get one more turn, I'll take the W on this one. But if it goes for this the the second attack and actually lands the RNG. Oh, it's going for it. Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, if it if it hits me, I think if it if it gets two heads or more, then I think I uh, I take the L. Fail. There's one. Uh. Eighty damage. Oh, that's that's super lame. <laughs> that's super lame. <laughs> Oh, that was like the worst case scenario. That that like potion that they popped like out of nowhere on the the EV that had been damaged all game. That is actually what saved them. I would have won if not for that. I would have actually won if not for that. That is tragedy. That is utter tragedy. <laughs> Dang it. No, it's not a forever luck lost after Kirby. Ah, <laughs> uh, rats. That means we have to fight Courtney again too. I'm sorry, but you have to leave. Oh, damn. <laughs> I was ejected. <laughs> Feels super bad. Well, it happens. Um, really quickly, uh, I just want to go get a um, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh god, my throat just was just like ha ha. All 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 jacked up. No, I'm not gonna save state SPS. That's lame. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, really quickly, I just want to go get a refill on coffee. So um, I'm just gonna go on standby for a hot second, and then we'll try again. Uh, this is why I kind of like left that caveat of like maybe this won't be the finale today because like we could just take l after l after l but we'll see <laughs> um but yeah um i will be right back everybody stay tuned Okay, everybody, I have returned. Thank you all for your patience. Uh, let's try this again. I would say, is there, I guess there, that really was just kind of bad luck, to be honest. <laughs> um, do you, uh, for those of you who have played this game before, uh, do any of you have suggestions? Like, uh, I was gonna say, like, obviously, like, if we take any, like, losses, we can always tweak the deck a little bit. Um, if there's ever anything that you all think that I should try uh, to, to, you know, mix things up a little bit, that is always an option. I, I, I honestly think the deck is good and that we just actually genuinely got unlucky. So I'm willing to, like, just give it another go real fast. But I don't know. Just let me know if y'all have any ideas for, like, what you would do in this scenario. Uh, you know, if we keep taking the L's, as it were. Uh, it sucks that we have to fight Courtney again, though. <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't give us trouble. Like, we, we, we crushed her the first time. But, like, it's definitely one of those things where it's just, like, I could, I could just... Um, you know, have gotten lucky on that one, and then we fight Courtney again and she thrashes us. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, I was thinking about healing, Star Champ. I, just, I, I always feel like healing is just such an investment, though. I feel like the benefit is usually not worth it. Um, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. If it, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. If I, if I need to uh, slide one in, I can slide one in. Mr. Ashman says, I do think Thunder Steve will be the hardest one for you. I, I agree. Yeah, the Thunder Steve is tough. Very, very tough. Oh, right, yeah. We've already read your dialogue, Courtney. You ain't nothing special. SP says, well, I think you may need to switch up your deck for the electric uh, deck. The Jolteon alone was the, was a massive problem. The Jolteon... I can't believe he actually got the freaking pin missile. He, like, don't get me wrong. I know that, like, two was, like... 
he needed two out of four and he got two out of four but like i don't know like <laughs> i've definitely seen that jolteon where it just like like completely woofs it so it just i don't know it feels bad uh, i have just the star you that feels really bad but all right off to a not so good a start on this one Okay, we play first at least, that's good. Okay, what do you got? You have weakness to water. Okay, and you have Vulpix, okay. I mean, at least we can get off to the really good start there. So your, your retreat is one, your retreat is also one. Hold on to the Gust of Wind for now. Man, it sucks we didn't draw any other basics. But that's alright. Can at least do some good damage to Magmar. Okay, she gets the the the, the less good Moltres. Well, it's not really less good. She gets the real Moltres, I guess is the way to put it. <laughs> They're both decent. Bill. I love Bill. Get another Gust of Wind and Lapras. Okay, at least Lapras. That's good, just to have the coverage there. I guess... Man, I hate committing... I, I honestly am not a big fan of committing energy to Lapras, but... Looks like I may have to. Um, hmm... So yeah, flip a coin. Yeah, so we're we're not even guaranteed to be actually be able to actually land the attack, which is lame. Um, yeah, I'll just put some energy down on Lapras. Tiger says I uh, I'm likely going to replay this game with the attempt uh, at min maxing my deck. Ooh, that that'll be fun. That'll be fun, Tiger. I I love this game. Like it's like maybe like aside from like main series pokemon this may actually just straight up be my favorite game boy game <laughs> like it's it's really fun um yeah i i enjoy it quite a bit i i still want to play the sequel i, I bet y'all like the sequel even more because it has more cards but yeah no this this game is like weirdly addictive and weirdly fun as hell hey we actually landed it very nice get out of here magmar Take a prize. Okay, the other Moltres is, or the Moltres is coming out. They only, uh, I was gonna say, those of you who've played this, uh, refresh my memory. They only run one of the GB versions of their legendary, right? I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Like she only has the one legendary Moltres in her deck. I think, I think that's how it works. Okay. Um. Yeah. I guess I'll just. Slap the Moltres. For, it's only 20, unfortunately, but it's a thing to do. Mr. Hatchman says, yeah, I don't think there's more than one copy in the quote-unquote lore. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Okay, immediately heals the 20. Nice. And two energy on the Moltres. The dive bomb's gonna be real, real lame if she's landing it. <laughs> Not a fan. Okay, Lapras is at max capacity here. Still not drawing any freaking basic mons. Goes for the trader. Trade one of the basic Pokemon or evolution cards in your hand for one of the basic revolution cards from your deck. Uh, that's actually not bad. I wonder if I should. Hmm. Trade one basic or evolution for one basic or evolution. Honestly? That's pretty good. Like it, it's it's like fixing your fixing your energy, but instead it's fixing your Pokemon. I wonder if I should think about using that. That's actually decent, right? Because like that that's kind of a problem I run into sometimes. Is I get like Seal instead of uh, you know Squirtle when I need it. So like I don't know. That's actually not a terrible idea. Oh, there's the there's the funny Moltres. Okay. There it is. Yeah, because she wants to get the fire giver. Yeah, fair enough. Mm 
the last. You and your opponent show each other your hands, then shuffle all all the trainer cards from your hands into your decks. Okay. You have a fire energy. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Artemis' trader is really strong, in my opinion, and lets you scroll through your deck and see what your prices are. That is true. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Any, I mean, any opportunity to yeah, look through your deck is always a good thing. Um, yeah, absolutely. I hmm, I don't have anything to put this energy on, really. I have, I have nothing to commit it to. If I could just get that Squirtle, we'd be good, but I don't have the Squirtle. I have War Turtle, and I have Blastoise, but I do not have, uh, I do not have Squirtle. Uh, I gotta just let, let that energy sit. We'll just slap the Moltres. It's what I gotta do. Oh, it goes for the dive bomb. Ugh, flip a coin. If it, uh, the, I hate this. 80 damage for a coin toss. It's, ugh, disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. Well, that's a dead star, you. <laughs> God damn. Uh, that's, uh, rather unfortunate. Yes, yeah, yeah, Staryu is fucking dead. Exactly, Ms. Trashman, holy cow. <laughs> that is one deleted Staryu. <laughs> we get the bill, we love bill. Oh my god, where are all my basic mods? <laughs> where are they? They're missing. They're missing in action. It's a good thing Lapras can live a dive bomb if it comes down to it, but god damn it. <laughs> um. Oh wait, the water gun kills here. We're good. Can I have a basic mod? Squirtle! Oh, beautiful! Now we can set up Blastoise next turn. Well, not fully, but like we'll we'll get it set up over the over the next couple of turns. That'll be good. That is most wonderful. Oh, we get the breeder as well. That's one less turn we gotta worry about. Right? Can you hold actually I don't remember. Oh no, okay, never mind. Well, no, it's it still saves us a turn. That that's decent. That's decent. Uh, okay, so yeah, we put Squirtle down. We put energy on it. And then... Yeah, I can't evolve, or I can't breed her this turn. But I can breed her next turn directly into Blastoise. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. So yeah, we'll just go for a Water Gun on Moltres. Okay, Growlithe. Professor Oak, that's cool for when it comes down to it, but definitely want to wait on that for now. Uh, we'll go ahead and Breeder. And yeah, we'll drop, uh, drop the water energy down. Blastoise will be fully online. Very nice. Moltres is almost out of here, too, which is pretty decent. Yeah, she's just not doing anything. I guess she just doesn't have anything to do. <laughs> Play Seal down. Finally, another basic mon. Unfortunately, I'm also out of, uh... I'm also out of energy. Does Dugong... I'm trying to remember if Dugong uses colorless energy at all. I feel like it doesn't. I could Professor Oak and try and, like, actually get something decent out of it, but... I don't know. I, 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 I'm i not in a rush here, I don't think. I think I can go at least another turn. Oh, hey, Yumi. Welcome, welcome. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you, Yumi. Let's say we, um, we, uh, we, we actually beat Courtney, and then we jobbed a Thunder Steve. Um, so we're, we're trying again. <laughs> that's, uh, that's all, that's all you missed. <laughs> But yeah, lovely to see you, Yumi. I hope you're doing well today. Okay, we get a Blastoise. Or, uh, Blastoise. We get a Water Energy. That's what I, that's what I meant. Sorry. So, so much Blastoise. 
Um, okay, we can get Blastoise stronger. And yeah, just have uh, Lapras finish off the Moltres. Ba-boom. Get Krabby. Ooh, Krabby. I like Krabby. Krabby good. And I think Krabby actually can use the uh, double colorless energy, so that's good. Get water. Uh, right, Kingler? Yeah, King Kingler can use it. That that's good. I can't use um, Crab Hammer with it, but... Um, well, it can partially. Just I'll need another water energy to commit to it as well. Okay, cool. That makes me feel more comfortable, honestly. Play Krabby down. I'll play the double colorless on it. And then I'll also play the water energy on it. And then I can Kingler next turn. Yes, that's right. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool, cool. If if it comes to it, I was gonna say Courtney's kind of on the on the back back pedal at the moment, so we may not even need to do anything with it. But it's an option if it comes down to it. Sergeant says fighting Bade now. Ooh, very good, Star Champ. You're doing you're doing good. You're doing good. You're almost done with uh with Shield. That's uh very cool. <laughs> I hope you. I hope you have. Uh, uh, words are hard. I hope you have had a good time with it, Star Champ. <laughs> Ooh, dugong. Ooh, gong, gong, gong. Uh, actually, now's my time to check. Does, uh, oh dang, I could have committed the the double colorless to seal, but that's okay. Uh, we will go ahead and play Kingler. And then, yeah, I think I am just going to toss War Turtle and the rest of these. Uh, do I want Star You? Yeah, I'll, I'll play Star You down. And then, yeah, I'll toss the rest for Professor Oak. And what do we get? We got Bill. We got Squirtle. And a oh my god, we just got. We got the funny the funny combo in one in one Professor Oak. That's pretty cool. Um, I like that. <laughs> I am a fan. Um, okay, Kingler Kingler's fully online. I don't even think we'll need that second Blastoise to be honest. <laughs> um, I say Lapras hasn't even taken any damage yet. Sartre says, "Yeah, I, uh, it's been a lot of fun. I'm glad that I got to play it, uh, even if I feel like there's a bit that could have been it could have been better on." Yeah, no, I, like I, I think that's a valid take. Absolutely valid take, Star Champ. Um, like, you can have fun with it, even if you think it, like, could have been better. That's, uh, that's super, super apt to say. Oh, you got rid of my breeder. Rude. It's okay, I don't need it. <laughs> she can't do anything to me. She cannot do anything to me. In fact, um, do I just kill right here? Yeah, I think I do. I don't even need Blastoise. <laughs> Lapras did it all by itself. <laughs> Bonk. Final prize. Okay, yeah, Courtney goes down easy again. That's good. It's good that she goes... I was going to say, like, she gave me a really hard time when I, when I, when I fought her by myself. But then again, I was also using... Um, I was using a grass deck, so I guess that makes some sense. <laughs> um... I think I beat Thunder Steve, like, really easily in my private run, so, like, I don't... I, probably just luck, honestly. <laughs> I lost to Courtney, like, three times, and then I swept the rest of them when I actually beat her finally, so that's that's kind of how it went for me. All right, Thunder Steve, let's do the rematch. Let's a go. Hopefully we get a better hand on this one. We got kind of dunked on last time. Uh, we get uh, only Squirtle. Oh no, we have Kangaskhan. Okay, I can lead with the Kangaskhan because I would I want to set up Squirtle on back row, but maybe not immediately. <laughs> I need to get everything else first because I don't want him to Zapdos my back row. <laughs> Okay, what do you have? You have Electabuzz to lead. Again, great. 
Oh boy, my favorite. Yeah, boo Electabuzz. <laughs> That's exactly how I feel, this trash bin. Boo. <laughs> and we're paralyzed. Off to a fantastic start, everybody. <laughs> we love it. Okay, well, um, we have no other basics. Great. Can we Pokeball for Blastoise? Yes, we can. That's good. Or I could Pokeball for another basic, I guess, but Blastoise is probably the better option. I'll go for Blastoise. It can't kill Kangaskhan anytime soon, so... Um, should I even commit the Water Energy to Kangaskhan? Maybe I should. I can't even use it this turn. Maybe I'll wait. Because I could, I could theoretically save the energy for Black. Well, I have an extra. I'll wait. I'll wait, though. It's fine. I can't do anything this turn anyways. This is fine. Don't paralyze me. Good. Now I can... Now I could, um... Now I can, uh... Now I can fetch. Fetch is good. Okay, cool. We have plenty of energy, yeah, so I have no problem putting some on Kangaskhan. Um, yeah. So we just need that, we just need to set up. Um, I don't think I have anything else to do, right? I could put Squirtle down since he doesn't have Zapdos, but... For each of your opponent's bench Pokemon, flip a coin. If heads, its attack does 20 damage to that Pokemon. Okay, I don't like that at all. <laughs> Not that, he'd have to set up for it, but... Okay. All right, I'll just fetch. Krabby. Yay, Krabby. That's something I can put down. Okay, we got the electrode. Okay, doesn't paralyze me again. Good. That's another extra card for me, potentially. Bill. Bill says, give me Breeder. Nope. Wartortle, possibly, though. Wartortle? Yay! <laughs> there you are. <laughs> okay, cool. So, yeah. We will start the setup, then. We'll go ahead and drop Squirtle down. We'll go ahead and drop the water energy on it. And start setting up for towards the Blastoise. That's what you do. Very good. Okay, cool. And yeah, we can also put uh, Krabby and Lapras down as well. For funsies. Sartre says, wow, just stunting on Bade by not Gigantamaxing. Nice. <laughs> just get dunked on Bade. <laughs> Alright. You gonna paralyze me? You gonna paralyze me, you mean boy? Nope, not this time. Not this time. Okay, so yeah, we drop War Turtle down. for one last fetch. I would love to get my double colorless so that I could easily retreat Kangaskhan, but we'll see what happens. Okay, goes for the Thunder Punch. Hits itself, very nice. I am a fan of free damage. I am a pretty huge fan. Ooh, we get the we get the switch. Actually, that's that's pretty good. I can just switch into Blastoise then. That works out. <laughs> okay, let me make sure that there's nothing that I need to worry about on his bench. Still not set up Zapdos at all. 
Um, we could potentially get big damage from Electrode just because it does the flat 30, but um, I probably still worth it. Better than just waiting. Let's get fully on online with Blastoise here. And hell, we could also get Lapras set up, at least partially. Okay. Get out of here, Electabuzz. Also, oh my goodness gracious, this Blastoise... Blastoise is actually, like, super busted, though. <laughs> like, the ability that this card has relative to the, ab the other abilities that are in this game is absurd. <laughs> like, the difference in, like, utility is insane. The only thing I think it would be comparable is I do think the Venusaur's, uh, like, tran transfer energy ability, I think that's also really good. But, yeah, this Blastoise is absurd. Okay, there's the final water energy for Lapras. See, so that Electrode has just enough HP to be annoying. <laughs> Grr. SP says, uh, by the way, can everyone interested in the tournament post in the battle and trade thread? I want to get the defended pick out. Yeah, yeah, definitely do that, everybody. Everybody who wants to participate in that, definitely, um, definitely get a hold of SPS in the in the in that uh, chat. Yeah, the the battles and trades uh, tab in the Discord. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely do that if you wanna if you wanna have fun with the the tournament. Very, very good. I'm damn near tempted to to swap out here. We get another Blastoise, though. Mmm. See, I have Squirtle. If I could get a Breeder, that actually, I'd have, I'd be able to set up very soon. Um, let's see here. Lapras can do 30. I could finish off Electrode, and then have Blastoise ready to hit something else. Okay. The Elect, or the Voltorb. I actually think I will do that. I want to preserve my Blastoise for as long as possible. What's your retreat? Three? That is that is that's actually pretty brutal. Um, how much energy do I have? I don't have any energy in hand. It is a little rough, I will say. But I could always draw into it, I suppose. But then again, then again, he doesn't really have anything to go into that would do massive damage either. This Voltorb only tackles for ten. I guess he could evolve it theoretically, but. Hmm, I don't know. I have decisions. I think I'm just going to go for the attack, though. I think I am. He doesn't really have a good switch in at the moment. We will just go for it. There's the water energy. We'll see what he, we'll see what he does. I want to see what Steve does. Oh, damn it. He goes immediately goes to the Voltorb. Does he have the, yep, he has the energy, too. Grr. Dang. We'll take the 30. That's fine. Yep, I should have made that. I should have made that play uh, the other way around, but it's okay. We uh, we can still do it now. We'll just Blastoise will be a little bit more damage than I would have liked. Um. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Because we can commit one here and swap out. Yeah. I think I will do that. Out to Lapras. And I can put another... Should I do that? I suppose I could just wait, since it's still online anyways. Oh, if he plays that Zapdos, though, he could theoretically smack my Blastoise while it's waiting. <laughs> I'm gonna wait on the water energy just in case. Just in case. Just get some 30 damage onto Electrode. Yeah, no, see, exactly exactly what I was worried about happening totally happened. He played the Zapdos. He might not hit my Blastoise, to be fair, but we'll see what happens. He hits Kangaskhan. Okay, that's fine. Sucks that it got knocked out, but <laughs> that's fine. That's better than hitting my Blastoise.
That would have been really funny, honestly, if, like, <laughs> if it had hit my Blastoise. I'm glad it didn't. Uh, star you. Not super helpful. I real I need another breeder, dang it. Um, yeah. I will wait. I will wait to commit any, any energy until then. Okay. Could I go for Confusory? Would that be worth it? Flip a coin of heads, the thing Pokemon's not confused. Now, probably... <sighs> it's too risky. I'll just go for the damage. I'll just go for the damage. Gets the Jolteon. I kind of had a feeling that was coming soon. <laughs> Way to do the good damage there, Lapras, though. Thank you for being here, my friend. Nope, not yet. Not yet. I will wait. Okay, we'll take another prize. Get another Squirtle. Goes for the quick attack. There it is. We get bonked. Sorry, Lapras. <laughs> Sorry. Luckily, we do have the prize advantage at the moment, but unfortunately, I can't do a quick, easy kill on this Jolteon without um, doing some fiddling around. Dang, I should have played that Staryu, actually. Rats. Yeah, I should have played that Star You last turn so that I could have it just I could have just slapped down Star You, gone for the gone for the slap, um, to get that twenty damage down, and then could have finished it with Blastoise on the switch in. Dang, all I have is Krabby. I can't let Blastoise go down yet. <laughs> I'll do it this turn, but dang it, I should have played that Star You sooner. So there's no reason for me to put any energy on Krabby, but I can at least put an and well. Assuming Blastoise doesn't go down, I should be able to play the Water Energy next turn. Just in case, because I don't want the Zapdos to, like, do something weird. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait. Uh, the, he'll get an extra prize out of it, which is lame, but... <laughs> I think that's all I really can do. While I'm waiting. Ah, dang. <laughs> I really screwed up on that one. Grr. It goes for the pin missile, you risky, risky boy. Ooh, Krabby, are you living? Yay, Krabby's living. Nice. <laughs> Why would you go for pin missile? Wasn't that like a guaranteed kill with quick attack? Well, no, I guess it wasn't. I guess it wasn't. Uh, pin missile was the only way that killed, huh? Yo, I could... <laughs> that would be actually really funny if I... I could put, like, the one energy... Because I have Flail. I could, um... I could smack it with Kingler real quick. That'd be pretty funny. Right? Because Flail is, uh... Just one. I could do 40 damage straight up. That's... I mean, I might as well. If Krabby's going down anyways. And I have the energy for it. Yeah, I think I will. <laughs> Yeah, just go for a flail. It's a free 40 damage right there. Goes for quick attack. He finally does not get the plus 20, but it doesn't matter. But I'll t yeah, I would say I'll take the uh, I'll take that free 40 damage though off of the Kingler. You fool! Why did you? Oh. <laughs> Well, it's not why did you like he tried he tried to kill it but he couldn't <laughs> makes me happy okay so now uh blastoise can come in and kill jolteon um let's see though let me put i only have the one water energy okay I really, really need <laughs> War Turtle or a Breeder. Ah! <laughs> I'll put a Squirtle down, just in case. I'll put Steel down as well. Okay, and I'm gonna commit some Water Energy to Star You, I think. Yes. 
All right, get out of here, Jolteon. Take another prize, another Squirtle. Ooh, Zapdos is coming out. Oh God, what are your what are you at? You only have one energy. Okay, that's he. Does, he literally just doesn't have any good options, I guess, right now. <laughs> He's gonna try. He's he's gonna start trying to build up the Zapdos. What are you doing, dude? No way. There's no way that works for you. Uh, still no, still no evolution card. But at least we can smack. Uh, at least we can smack the Zapdos. We might have this one. We're definitely in a lot better shape on this one than we were on the last round. Potion. Okay, heals a little bit. Fair enough. I don't. I don't think you live another turn though. I didn't get to four, so yeah, we should be able to kill it here. Sorry, Charlie. Um, we get the energy. Still no evolution. Oh no! Seriously? 